Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a new in beauty and things that I've been picking up lately. So I've got a little bit of high end and a little bit more of affordable drugstore items that I have been grabbing and quite a lot of it I have been loving. Some of it I'm a little bit on the fence about but obviously it is still pretty new to me so I need to keep using it a bit more before I think I can make a real judgement. But I want to get started with some of the more affordable things that I have picked up recently and I'll start with probably one of my favourite things. Things, and these are the NYX Butter Glosses. So I grabbed two of these because I noticed that they started stocking NYX at Priceline and I don't know if that's a new thing. I didn't know they stocked NYX there. So I'm really thrilled about that because I love NYX as a drugstore brand. I think it is really great. NYX and Wet n Wild, probably two of my favorite American affordable beauty brands. So I like the Butter Gloss. It's got a slightly sticky but not overly sticky. It doesn't remind me of the types of lip glosses that I used to get when I was a kid that just would make your lips stick to Together and you wouldn't be able to move them but this is really moisturizing and it has a semi sheer to opaque finish so I like that you can just wear these on their own or you can wear them over the top of your lipsticks too so I went for two new shades because I've got a few already I grabbed tiramisu which is a very pretty brown tone nude which I think would be perfect for every day and then I went for one that was a little bit more fun and this is meringue and this is a really vibrant orchid colored pinky purple tone and I'm really excited to wear this. I love these sorts of really unique unusual shades for summertime so I think these are going to be really great ones to have in my arsenal. Next I've got a whole bunch of different things from Rimmel. So I've got two of the Scandalize eyeliners. So these are the precision liners and one is the thick and thin eyeliner and then one is the micro liner. So the thick and thin liner is probably the one that I don't use that much because it's got more of a traditional felt tip style tip. <laughs> I don't know how it's best to describe it but it's very flat edged and it, I don't really find this the easiest to use when creating a winged eyeliner look which is typically what I tend to wear most days and I have to say the formula of these is actually pretty good so it comes out really opaque it has a pretty decent lasting power I mean I probably would need to top up if I was going to go out in the evening but in terms of wearing it all day for work definitely a winner for me and since we're talking about eyes I might as well talk about this mascara that I've got from Rimmel and it's the Scandalize Reloaded Mascara and this is a recent launch I believe it comes in a really bright orange tube. It's got a super thick wand, which I really like. However, I have to say I'm really, really picky when it comes to mascaras. So I have quite oily eyelids and I also have long lashes. So I find a lot of the time when I'm wearing a mascara, it will tend to rub on my brow bone, which can be really annoying. So unfortunately, this one does smudge on me. I think if you don't have the same problem that I have, then this is actually a really great mascara. I really love the way that this made my lashes look. It made them look very voluminous and long and I feel like this is just a good all-rounder. So if you don't have that problem, then definitely go and pick this one up. But unfortunately, it's just one that hasn't really worked out for me. Then the last product from Rimmel that I picked up is the Kate Moss for Rimmel Contour Kit. And you've probably seen this one doing the rounds. It's got a blush, a contour, and a highlight. And I had swatched this on the back of my hand, and I thought it was way too glittery for me. So I didn't really think of trying any further, but I decided on a whim to pick it up and give this one a go. And I actually really like this. I love Rimmel. I think they're one of my favorite kind of UK affordable beauty brands so I tend to really like a lot of the products that I've tried from the brand and this really has been no exception it's got I mean the blush is really pretty and pink it's perfect for springtime the contour is more light so if you aren't actually that used to using a contour product or if you aren't really that I guess confident with adding contouring to your face I feel like this is perfect because it applies quite lightly and you can just layer it up to get the look that you want and then the highlighter is really pretty as well it's just this perfect kind of slightly goldy colored highlight so I'm really really pleased with this and I love the fact that you've got a blush a contour and a highlight in one little compact so this is just a great travel piece as well so very very happy with this one next I want to talk about a few things that I got from Star Korean so they very kindly gave me some vouchers so I went and picked out a few different bits and pieces and the first thing I want to talk about is mostly because it's got the most adorable packaging but I got these Tony Moly cleansers and hold on how can I show you so they don't completely blow out? I'll, I'll insert clips and everything so you can see everything in closer detail. But I've got the Pikachu Moisture Foam Cleanser and then the, this must be Squirtle, but it says Kyo Boogie Hydrating Foam Cleanser. And 
I am a huge Pokemon fan from way back. I used to play Pokemon with my friends at school. I remember my very first Nintendo video game. I remember getting a pocket Game Boy and getting both Pokemon Red and Blue just after it launched. I was a very, very excited and very excited kid when I got those. So when I saw these, I really just had to pick them up, mostly just because of the packaging. I mean, moisture foam and hydrating foam, it kind of sounds like they do the same thing. I haven't tried out the Squirtle one yet. I've only used the Pikachu one and I found that this made my skin feel very clean. So it kind of had that feeling where you've washed your face and it strips it of everything. So I'm not sure if this is as moisturizing as the name would suggest as I did apply a lot of moisturizer afterwards just to make sure that my skin wasn't feeling very thirsty. But the packaging is so cute. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be definitely something that comes part of my regular skincare routine, but I just thought it was a really fun purchase. So I wanted to pick those up. Then talking about cute packaging, I grabbed a mascara from Tony Moly as well, and I wasn't expecting to like this at all. This is the Panda's Dream Smudge Out Mascara, and this is the volume version, and it's got the cutest little panda head. I just think this is adorable. I've got panda flats. I just, I love pandas. I've also got an I Love Pandas pin on my Evelyn tote as well, so I'm a big fan. This has one of those fiber bristle wands. It's just slightly curved. And, you know, I did not expect anything from this mascara. I didn't really think that I was going to be impressed with it, but I actually really love this. It is what I wore on my wedding day, surprisingly, on my upper and lower lashes. And it just really gave my lashes some nice volume. It does not smudge at all. It just stays put, which is just perfect. Um, and it just adds, yeah, a bit of volume to your lashes. And I adore this. And yeah, the cute packaging just sold it for me. And it just is a bit of a bonus that it is a great product too. Next, I just thought I would mention this little headband that I got. This is mostly just to pull my hair off my face, you know, like when I'm cleansing or something. I'm not going to put it on properly, but I think you guys get the idea. This is just hilarious and Luke always laughs at me whenever I put this on. But I think it's really great at just getting all my hair out of my face because I don't really have anything like this. So, and it's really cute too. I love the little, little ears. It reminds me of my gaming days. <laughs> Alright, next I'll talk about another cleanser. So I kind of picked up a few different cleansers and this one's from Hymish, I think is how you say it. This is the All Clean Balm. I think the packaging on this is just stunning. It's white with this very pretty pastel leaf colored print on the box. And then when you pull it out, I mean, the tub is just gorgeous. I love it. I'm a sucker for good packaging. So just straight off the bat, I thought this looked really cute. And this is the All Clean Balm. So it's an intensive cleansing balm. So when you open it up, it has a little like layer here with a spatula, which you can then use to pull the product out. And you can see I've kind of used quite a bit of this already. And this is sort of a similar product to the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. That's probably the closest thing that I can think of. The product itself is a lot harder, so it kind of reminds me a little bit more like a slightly semi-soft coconut oil, but it just melts away on your skin. I don't really like the smell of this, but I do like the actual product in use. I think it's very, very gentle on your skin. My skin doesn't feel stripped of all its essential oils after I've finished using it. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this, but yeah, the scent is just not the, my favorite, I have to admit. So it's one that I use sparingly, but I'm definitely going to get through this whole tub and then I'll probably end up grabbing the Emma Hardy Marini Cleansing Balm because that is my holy grail all-time favorite. Now, I'm a complete sucker for face masks and while I don't always have the patience to do them all the time, I do like to do one maybe once a week just as I think it's a really good way to just add a bit more life back into your skin. So I picked a few up from Innisfree. I actually had another one which was the cucumber one. So here I've got the pomegranate and the kiwi one and these are sheet masks. So they're the ones that you lay over your face and you look a little bit scary for 15 minutes while you have this on. You can just sort of chill out and I really, really like these. I think my skin felt really nice and soft after I used the cucumber one. So definitely going to be using one of these later tonight, I think. But yeah, just nice to have a few sheet masks lying around. Then the last thing I wanted to share from Style Korean is this Misha Cushion Foundation. And this is SPF 50 plus, which I think is just crazy. So it has a little like spongy applicator thing here and then you open it up and oh god I can't even do this. You open it up and you've got the product inside and this is actually a pretty good color match for me. It looks really dark on the sponge but it actually turns out to be maybe just half a shade too light for me. Not even that so I just warm my skin up with a bit of bronzer. 
Uh, it's quite nice. Like I think I like the finish when I've just applied it. I don't think it wears as well as some of my other foundations throughout the day, but it is pretty nice and I really have been enjoying the style of uh, foundation. I've just been applying it with a beauty blender. Sorry, this one is super dirty, but just patting it in there and then on my face. I find that's a really great way to apply it. So yeah, this has just been a really fun one and I'd love to try a few other cushion foundations. So if you've got any recommendations, then please let me know. I think I'll probably try the L'Oreal one, but if there's any other ones you think I should try, comment down in the comments box below. Lastly, I just wanted to mention a few things that I picked up mostly with the intention of using it for our wedding day and two of them I did, one of them I didn't. So the first thing I want to mention is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and this has just become one of my absolute favorite things. First off, I love the packaging. It's very like weighty, it's a glass bottle. I like the fact that it's got a pump because that just makes it really handy and easy to use but it just looks really luxurious on your vanity. The product itself is just really what I'm obsessed with. This is my all-time favorite foundation at the moment. I feel like it just looks so natural, so perfecting, and so flawless on the skin. This is more of a light coverage, but what I love about this is that you can actually put on more than one layer and it still just looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look like you've got anything on your face. At least when I did two layers, I told my girlfriend that I was wearing this and she didn't even believe I had anything on my skin. So I feel like that's the real test of whether or not a foundation looks flawless and perfect so I love this I got the shade 5 but yeah it's I mean it's definitely a splurge and I was really nervous about spending that much money on a foundation because last time I did it didn't really work out for me but very pleased with this then the other two things I got the first one is the Tom Ford eye defining pen now I had heard Viviana does makeup or now the Anna edit and also Lily Pebbles rave about this so I thought I'd pick this up as my eyeliner to wear on the day of the wedding and I tested it out beforehand because I didn't want to end up getting something and then finding it didn't work out the way I'd anticipated that it would. And what I like about this is the packaging. I think it looks very sleek and very upmarket and luxurious, I guess. And it has a dual end, so it's got a very small tip on one end. And then the other end has a longer one, which I find is a lot easier for applying your eyeliner. However, this doesn't perform as well as other more affordable eyeliners that I've tried. This is so expensive. It's around $100. It really just, I didn't feel that great about handing the money over for an eyeliner because I just whiz through them. I use them up so quickly. And yeah, I actually have to say, um, where is it? The Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Eyeliner is so much better than this. So if you're looking at getting a new eyeliner, grab this one over this one. I will still use this up, obviously, as it was so expensive, but I'm just not that impressed with the quality. I find that because I do sometimes get slightly watery eyes just out the corner, um, and this just really doesn't seem to withstand that, whereas the Maybelline one does, and that's only about $17. So this is five times the price and I just felt like I wasn't really getting my bang for my buck whereas I do with the other eyeliner so yeah unfortunately this one didn't really work out and then the last beauty product that I wanted to share with you guys is a lipstick and this is from Clinique and it's one of their lip pops or should I say Clinique pop lip color primer rouge intense and base so I got this as my lipstick to wear on my wedding day. It is just such a pretty, nudie pink color. It is one of those My Lips But Better shades. And I got this because Luke doesn't really like it when I wear lipsticks like this. He would prefer if I just left my lips bare. He, that's what he likes the most. And I thought for our wedding day, I need to wear something that looked natural and that looked like me. So I just thought that this was a really good option. I like the formula of it. It is really nice and creamy but it dries down to a slightly matte finish. It does wear off over the course of the day so you do need to reapply or at least that was my experience with this but I found because of the color just wore down very naturally. So I really really like this and it was just such a nice nice little lipstick to have in my bag and how cute is the packaging? Can you tell I'm such a sucker for packaging? I just, I love this. So these are all things that I've been picking up over the last four to five weeks so definitely not all in one go and I've probably done my dash of beauty for a while I'd say but yeah I'd love to know if you guys have been picking anything new up recently and if there's anything that you think is worth trying out. If you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you later. Bye.